Hello everyone. My name is Sushant. I am part of Global Customer Support Team. Today, we are here to talk about field mapping in Hierarchy Builder Transformation. The agenda for this talk is to walk through the steps in structuring the source data and map the fields in the Hierarchy Builder to generate the target output. So, what is Hierarchy Builder? Hierarchy Builder is a transformation in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services which allows to convert relational source data into hierarchical target data. It can be either an XML or a JSON format. Now, how to structure the source records, especially when the source data is in normalized form? That is, tables have primary key and the foreign key relationship. And we'll go through the demo on how to map the fields and structure the source data as well. Identify the primary key and the foreign keys in the source tables. And make sure to assign the primary key and the foreign keys to either a big integer type data type field or string or an integer data type in the hierarchy builder. Make sure to run the data viewer on the source transformation so that the data adheres to the primary key and the foreign key relation. In the demo, we'll go through the steps to format the source data and to generate the target XML format that is shown here below. So on the left, we see that the XML structure has four groups. One, the root element is the company. Two, a company can have multiple departments. So, and three, the employee can be, uh, n number of employees can be part of the department and each employee can be part of the projects. Here is a mapping with source data and the hierarchy builder created with the sample XML that I've shown in the slide. Let's take a look at the department, employee, and projects data to identify the primary key and the foreign key relationship. So when I see the source data, I do see that they have an ID conveniently available with the department name as well. So I'm going with department ID as a primary key for the department table. Under the employee table, I do see we have the employee ID and the department ID as well. So I can generate a primary key and the foreign key relationship between the employee ID and the department ID. Now, since every department can have a number of employees, it makes sense to set primary key and the foreign key relationship between the department ID and the employee ID. In the same fashion, we can see that the project's data would have the project ID and the employee ID. So an employee can work for multiple projects. So we'll set the employee ID in the projects table as a foreign key and the project ID as the primary key. Let's move on to hierarchy builder. Once you drag and drop the hierarchy builder, you will see the option of output settings where you have to provide a hierarchical schema. You can generate a hierarchical schema using a sample XML file. Make sure to select the sample XML file in such a way that all of your source data would adhere to the structure of that particular XML. Now let's go to the field mapping. Under the field mapping, as you see, we have four groups 
one is through the expression transformation for the department data and for the employee group and the projects group on the right side you'd see the structure of the XML that gets generated based on the hierarchical schema that you have created so a company can have multiple departments so you'd see that there is a cardinality over there and every department can have uh, more than one employee and every employee can be part of multiple projects so I'm clearing up the keys and the mapping so the, the company would have a specific ID so I'm just mapping that and then the company ID would become a primary key for the company group so if you have multiple companies that needs to be part of the XML file you can provide multiple rows of company details now since I'm creating a primary key over here it needs to have a foreign key in this another group so I'll be utilizing the expression transformation to pass the company ID as well so I'll select the com foreign key as a company ID which is having a relationship with the source uh, I'll be selecting the company ID as a foreign key which is having a relationship with the source transformation for a company ID which has a primary key now the department ID is gonna be the primary key for that particular group and the department ID in the employee becomes the foreign key which should be part of the expression and the employee ID becomes a primary key for the employee group and the projects will have the foreign key associated with the employee ID similarly you we will map the fields that are required to be generated as part of the target output so drag and drop the department name first and then I would drag and drop the employee name and then I would map the project name so the field mapping is complete let's save this mapping as mentioned in the slide please make sure that the primary key and the foreign key assigned in the hierarchy builder have the data type as big int or string or an integer here I've chosen to use a big int let's run the mapping So the mapping ran successfully and it has generated a single record as a target so here is the output with the projects and the employees and the department in the expected format hope you have liked this video we have included the documentation for the hierarchy builder transformation which have a step by step on how to create a hierarchy builder transformation and hierarchical schema and how to map the fields as well and also if you want a, a video of how to do step by step process uh, i've included that in the link as well thank you